Oh my god, they're so- Oh my god, they hit each other. What? Oh, that one hit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. There's- Oh, there's so many rockets. This is, oh, that one's stuck in the wing. What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic, and we're back with a pretty cool mod that has been out for a while, but it has been getting some updates, and that is, of course, the Intelligent- Intelligentia? Intelligentia? Int in Intel in it's the AI turret mod, okay? It's made by Blue Flame. He's got this wicked mod that allows us to make AI turrets relatively easily without having to do all the crazy sensor stuff. And they'll track the player pretty much dead accurate all the time. It's a really cool mod that adds all these parts here. So this is part of the buoyancy mod and the wings mod. We've got those as well. But all these logic gates down to here and uh, down here, including this flak gun. Now, I haven't checked out the flak gun. I don't know what it does, but we're going to check that out. But regardless, it's a really simple mod. So there's the auto AI turret, and there's the potato drop turret, and the target lead turret, and then advanced, which incorporates all those. And it might seem a little bit complicated, it might seem a little bit ridiculous, but really, if you want to make an auto turret, you only need a few of the parts. So we can do a simple one with just the simple auto turret AI, and then we need a AI output block, and that's what outputs from this block here. We'll set that up. He's also got these other blocks here, proximity sensors to detect players, for example, people within range of the block. He's also got uh, an altitude sensor and a gyro to sense angles. So he's got a lot of different things. And then he's got these player imitator blocks. So basically, the turret will always aim at the player. So you can use these to, you know, have it aim at something else. We'll definitely have to come back and check out some of these other things and uh, possibly figure out uses for these proximity sensors. Maybe like a base that with alarms that you set off or something. But regardless, to build a simple turret, it's actually really, really easy. So all you got to do is line up the arrow on top here and make sure it's going in the right direction. So we're gonna put one down here, like that, perfect, so it's aiming forward. So that's our AI. So then that block is basically gonna try and always keep this turret aimed in forward. Wherever you want that, that's gonna always try and aim itself at the player. Basically, I think what it's doing is outputting its position relative to the player, but I'm not sure. So then of course, we make our WASD pad, and you'll notice there's no numbers on them. Really simply, we gotta paint them specific colors, and as you do that, you'll see the letters will appear. So WASD, perfect. All those get connected from our AI block. So it will output the WASD. And you'll see as we move around, it's outputting, you know, our position relative to it, right? So it wants to move down and it wants to rotate. And then we just got to hook these into uh, the proper blocks. So A rotates to the left, D rotates to the right. S rotates uh, down, which is this one, and W rotates up. I guess we need to turn the motors on, right? We'll, we'll disconnect here. We'll put all the motors at uh, one tick for now. You can put them faster as well. It seems to be pretty good at controlling the pulse. And now if we turn on the AI, uh, it's the potato. There we go. So you can see it's going to move itself towards us, and it's going to make sure it's always lined up with us, the player. It's pretty cool. And now that's a very simple AI, so it won't uh, do things like lead the target, and it won't incorporate the potato drop. You can see we can turn up. Let's turn them up even more. Let's turn them up to three, maybe. I mean, it gets a little bit janky there on the up-down movement. And then, of course, if we turn on the potatoes, um, you know, it'll shoot at us. But here's here's the thing. This is not incorporating potato drop, right? So potatoes don't shoot uh, the full distance. And you can see there, see how they're, they're aiming short? So it's firing directly at us. The AI is looking straight at us, but it's not incorporating the potato drop function, which... I mean, I guess we need the potato drop function. So what what we have to do now is adjust the AI so that it incorporates potato drop as our distance from it increases. So of course, Blue Flame has an AI that does that as well. We've got the potato drop auto turret here. We've also got the target lead auto turret. So if you're running back and forth, it'll make sure to lead to make sure your bullets hit. And then you've got the advanced one, which incorporates both of them. So we're going to incorporate both. I mean, you could have it only do one or the other if you wanted to make something where you had to dodge the potatoes. You'd want the potato drop in that case, but you wouldn't necessarily want the target lead in that case because you want to, you know, have it so that the player can actually dodge it. But regardless, here we go. So we're going to just hook that one up really simply. Same hookup. And uh, now it should incorporate both potato drop and the fact that we're moving a little bit. So we're just going to... Uh, where's the potato drop here? Yeah, so it should still hit us even if we go far away here. And what's it, what it's doing, of course, is aiming the turret up slightly. So it works really, really well. Really just an awesome way to make a very, very simple auto turret you can see here. So I figure what we'll do is we'll hook up the flak turret, see how that goes. I don't really know what the flak turret does. And then I'll spawn in a plane 
and we'll try and fly and we'll remote control activate the flak turret as we're flying with a plane. We're gonna first check out what the flak gun is because I honestly have no idea. So here's the flak gun and he's apparently got flak turret AI stuff. So flak AI lead and flak AI. So um, I think we want the one that leads the targets. That would probably be the effective one here. And we'll just, same thing. I'm assuming this is the same setup. Honestly, haven't played around with this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so just like that, perfect. And hook that into this switch there. And then we'll remote control glitch this to a plane so we can take off and have this fly once we start, uh, have the shoot once we start flying overhead. Okay, so what is the flak gun? Okay. Oh, it's slow. That is so cool though. All right, so we're gonna have to weld this to the ground. Uh, we'll wait. If we weld it, we're not gonna be able to remote control glitch it. You know, that's fine. We'll put it on a really long timer, and uh, and then we'll just have it activate with a timer, so it'll give us time to take off in our plane and then uh, and go buy it. All right, so that should be good enough. Now we've got the multiplayer plane here, which is pretty much the only cardboard plane I have. I'm pretty sure the flat gun wrecks cardboard, right? I think that that's effective to say. I'm pretty sure. So we're just gonna we're gonna hit this. And then we're going to jump in the plane and we're going to fly away. Let's see if the thrusters are still... Yeah, the thrusters are glitched. It's such a weird glitch happening right now in Scrap Mechanic where the thrusters don't display particle effects when you load creations. I don't I don't understand. But anyways, we're going to activate this. And we're going to run and see if we can do a flyby overhead. And we'll see how effective this flat gun is. I have a feeling it's going to one-shot us, but uh, here we go. Just this thing's kind of... This thing kind of sucks taking off here. Can we... There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now, there's different levels of the auto turret AI, so there's a slow one, which moves the turret slower, and then there's, well, I guess you could do it with the, uh, with the electric motors. Oh, boy, there we go, okay, yeah, no, it's trying to, it's trying to, okay, yeah, no, it's trying to lead, it's, it's, you know what, we might be too fast for it. It seems like it's aiming definitely behind where I am, it's not really leading the target. I did put the lead one on it, I thought, but... We might need to spawn more of these flak turrets. It's definitely trying to aim ahead of where I'm going. Let's, you know, let's do a nice slow flyby here. It was close. It's still not, yeah, it's not, it's not aiming enough ahead. Yeah, you can see it's aiming to where it thinks I'm going to, oh boy, that was close. Oh, that one hit. Oh, didn't do anything. Did it, did it do any damage? I don't see any dam. It definitely hit, or at least the flak explosive hit. I don't think it can hit me. I think, I think the flak turret's too slow. Maybe I'm using the leading AI wrong. Oh, definitely hit there, but I don't think it, I don't think it did need it like hits it, but it doesn't seem to do any damage. That's kind of weird. I don't know if that's yeah, no that. Oh yeah, that's right. You got to shoot. Okay. So let's see what happens. Do you direct hit? You definitely see it breaking, but oh, okay. It broke a few pieces here in the back. Okay. The final thing I want to do here before we get rid of this turret is uh, we're just going to put a regular AI on it. Now we're going to put the crazy fast one. So the TLR 500 X tracker and it says an AI that works in every rotation if you can beat this mounted on a Gatling gun you are a true legend so we're gonna put this I, I'm assuming that means it's super crazy powerful fast and super accurate and super quick to sense your position so we're gonna put that there and then we need a Gatling turret all right, so that, that seems to work. Uh, so we're just gonna weld that to the ground and then we'll hook the engine up into the timer perfect and then, of course, we will hook that in. All right, so we've got another plane. We'll jump in that, and we'll set this turret. We'll have 30 seconds, so let's see if we... Yeah, it looks like it's super, super accurate now. Uh, 30 seconds till it starts shooting. Let's just get up in the air. The flat gun's really, really cool. I like the way it explodes. I'm not sure why it doesn't always take out a block. It doesn't seem to. Okay, that's a lot of spuds. I can see them being launched across the map oh god what is hitting still holy cow that's accurate all right come on up no no pitch control is so busted right now i don't oh my god there's so many spuds so the thing is i think the advantage is every time we change directions it has to like recalculate and readjust for our new direction so it's really trying oh my god there's so many okay here we go dodge oh yeah no way no way see it's trying every time oh god oh god oh god oh well, it took out the front. It took out the. It took out a lot. Oh god, it's not. It took it. It took out. Oh my god. We're still flying. It hasn't hit a single wing piece. That's cra or did the wings get chained? I don't think the wings got chained. They're still cardboard wings. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. It's. I mean, it's trying to shoot the player, so it's definitely aiming for the cockpit and the, the fusel. Oh, we lost the. Eh, we lost the tail. And eh, we lost the tail. 
Right, so that turret is really, really good. After seeing how effective this turret was, I thought, you know, maybe there's another way we could use this same AI turret mod to do something a little bit different, but still kind of the same principle. And I decided to try making a homing missile, and it actually works a lot better than I thought it was going to. So really simply, we've got a weird kind of setup here, but we've got the AI mod in there. And again, we're using that TX whatever 5000 super adjustable crazy fast one. And then we've got the mod pack to put these Pico thrusters around the outside. And what we've basically got is the WASD hooked into the different thrusters. So, for example, if the thing needs to tip up, so use W, it'll push up on this thruster and down on this one to kind of rotate the whole thing up. And then left and right, same thing. And rotation doesn't really matter because as it rotates, the AI block rotates and it all works out. So, this missile actually kind of works. And, and what it does, it's got this timer here. So, it'll fire straight up for three seconds or however long we set this. And then after that time, the model get activated, and that's when the AI starts actually taking effect. And if you look, it's it's really quite an effective missile. So it uses, of course, the Intelligentia mod for the AI turret block, and then it uses the mod pack for the little Pico thrusters and the single thruster, and then it uses the wings mod to get these stabilizer wings. But it works a lot better than I thought it would. So we're just going to launch it, and you'll see it'll... So there it goes. And uh, we'll put it on the controller just so you can really see. Now it's it's activated the mod, and now it's uh, now it's coming back. You can see, like, I mean, it does kind of wobble a little bit, but it, it'll it come back and hit us just about every time, and it, it seems to be so fast it goes through most terrain pieces, but really, really cool, and once they add explosives to this game, it's going to be legendary. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn a couple of these, and we're going to hook them up to a plane through a roll control glitch. Now, it doesn't really matter which plane we use because uh, they, there's no explosives. They're not going to break the cardboard or anything. But we'll spawn four of them, and we'll see what happens if we fire them all off one at a time. And uh, we'll have them go up for three seconds, and then we'll home onto the plane, and we'll see. Now, these don't have to be attached to the ground. They, they launch straight up. All right, so we've got our test plane here. I spawned a different one, not the multi player plane a different one this time but we're gonna hook it up here we've got the remote control glitch set up there and uh so we'll hook up all those switches can we just you know what hook them all up i guess we want them all individually don't we so we'll have uh five six seven and eight i guess will be the the switches here five six seven and i don't know what's gonna happen when the rocket hits the plane i i haven't figured that one out yet we'll see if this works hopefully this stays all connected perfect five six seven and eight all right so we'll just uh press four here and we'll just take off and we'll leave those there. It's really, it feels like a glider without the thrust. All right, here we go. And then, uh, yeah. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do one little flyby here first. Now, of course, we can turn the switch off to stop the rocket. So once it hits us or if it gets glitched out, you can turn off the same switch and it'll shut off the AI block and it'll shut off the thruster and the thing will work. So here we go. Let's fire one. So there we go. You can see the rocket going up. Oh my God. Oh, oh boy. I lost sight of it. Where is it? Oh, where is it? Oh, jeez. Holy cow. Is it coming back? Oh, there it is again. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so it's, uh, it's trying to... It's trying. It's, it's trying. It's trying really hard. All right, you know what? Let's launch another one here. Six. Okay, there goes six. Okay, that's two. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. It's... It, I mean, it keeps... Every time it misses, it just comes back around for another pass. You can see the wings mod makes them fly straight, but definitely they do some weird stuff sometimes. Oh my, oh, that would clip the tail. See, if it, we had explosives, that would have blown us up. It would have been amazing. All right, let's, uh, seven, eight, fire both of those at the same time. This is ridiculous. Okay, okay, dodge. Oh my god, oh, whoa, they're so fast. All right, we could have way more rockets than this. Like, let's be real. So there's definitely some improvements to be had. You can see the wobbling of the rocket. I mean, maybe if we put, like, infinite stabilizers, but then, of course, it wouldn't, it wouldn't rotate as easily. But this is really, really cool. I mean, they're actually flying, technically. They're using the wings mod to fly themselves. And they're just steering themselves with thrusters. And it's just ridiculous. Of course, they're all trying to hit one player. Oh my god. You know what? We need to just... Let's just spawn more rockets. That's what we're going to do. We've got 20 missiles, each in rows of four. Five rows of four, which are activated by individual switches. So when you press one switch, four of them will deploy. And it's just going to be a terrible idea. So here we go. We're going to we're gonna spawn this down here. And we're going to... We're going to take off in the plane. You know what? We're going to fly away. And actually, I think what I'll do is I'll upload just the individual missile platform so you guys can do whatever you want with it. You don't necessarily have to use my plane, but we'll upload just a single one just in case you guys want to do it. Of course, it does use the three mods, but it's still pretty, pretty cool. Definitely going to be looking forward to when explosive blocks get added and we can make these missiles that much more deadly. All right, so here we go. We're going to we're gonna fire one. I'm so nervous about this. All right, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just wait until we're away a little bit. Okay, five. There goes four of them. 
Uh, I don't even know what's... Where? I lost sight of them. Oh my god, they're... Okay, they're so fast. They're like bees. They're crazy. Holy cow. Okay, okay, you know what? Let's just, uh, that was five, so six. There goes another group, seven. There goes another group, eight. There goes another group, and nine. There goes the last group. All right, we've got 20 rockets in the air. If one of them is going to hit us, this is going to be the... Oh, my God. They're oh, so... Oh, my God. They hit each other. What? Oh, that one hit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, God. There's... Oh, there's so many rockets. This is... Oh, that one's stuck in the wing. Oh, that one... That one would have been a definite kill shot. That one... That one's... You know, we're fine. We're fine. We're... Oh, my God. We're getting away with so many more. Oh, my God. That one hit us, too. Stop. Go away. Ah, go away. Oh, my God. That one went in the tail. Leave us... Oh, the tail's broken. That one broke. It broke the tail, guys. The tail is actually... I can't stop pitching. We're actually screwed here. We're stuck in an M... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my... God. That one's stuck in the... Oh, my God. There's so many rockets. Oh, there's another one stuck. Oh, God. Uh, oh, man. We are... We are... Oh, we're getting clobbered now. This is brutal. There's so many homing missiles. Okay. You know... Oh, my God. Oh, we're going down. We're going... Can we recover? Can we recover? Let's recover. 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 Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't recover. This is actually the most ridiculous thing. They just keep coming. And then they hit the ground. And then they... Oh, my God. This is absolutely... Okay, you know what? I said sleep. Well, that was definitely an exciting experiment. You can see we've got a ton of rockets here. Of course, having the ability to turn them all off with those switches is absolutely amazing. But really, just such an awesome mod. And I can't wait to see the rest of those parts come to life and the rest of those sensors. Definitely have to play around with using the gyroscope sensors and the altitude sensors to try and work on some sort of, uh, you know, autopilot aircraft again. The altitude sensors, I think, would make us possibly be able to do automatic landing. I'm not really sure, but I'm really excited about it. And then, of course, once we get explosive blocks... Definitely going to have to put explosive blocks on these uh, these missiles. Shoutouts once again to Blue Flame though for making such an awesome mod. And I'm really happy with the way scrap mechanics going right now with all the scripted mods. And just it adds so much more to the game than there ever was. Like if you want to try and make a homing rocket like this without a scripted mod, it would be next to impossible. You'd need so many different things going on and it just it would just be ridiculous. Make sure you guys of course let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time.